Hey everyone, Ava File here, and today I just got in from Hasbro Pulse my Amazing Spider-Man and Electro figures, part of the retro line they have going. So with these, you obviously had to order them from the website, uh, and they had a couple others, Iron Man and Black Panther, Captain America and Black Panther, uh, Iron Man and Cyclops, and obviously Spider-Man Electro. And these are all part of the three and three quarters inch line. So if you look at the front, it looks like an actual comic book. It even says Kenner down there, from like the old lines. Turn it around, it shows you what the figures look like. There's Spider-Man and there's Electro. So why don't we get this opened and uh, take a closer look. Oh man, these just look awesome. I like how inside the box they have individual cards they're on. And if you turn them around... There's actually some descriptions on here. So why don't we take a look? Well, we'll go over Spider-Man first. Uh, let's see. Spider-Man has a spider plan. Villains better run. With a thrip, he'll stick those evildoers in the web he spun. Oh, that was a nice little rhyme right there. So now let's look at Electro. Maxwell Dillon, the charged up villain, menace with electricity, has an evil plan for Spider-Man. And it won't be pretty. I just think it's funny that they put rhymes in there. Another thing you'll see is, uh, like what they used to do with the comics. Well, I guess they still do sometimes. Uh, where the UPC is sometimes. They'll put the pictures of characters. You got Electro there and the Spider-Man there. I really like this. Uh, I'm glad I picked them up. These all say they're edition number one. I don't know if they're coming out with more of them, but... That's pretty cool. So how about we get these guys opened out of these packages and take an even closer look. Alright, well I have them out here with uh, some other figures. Just to show the size difference. Now these are the 3.75. Uh, now this is from the original, uh, I want to say the Secret Wars or maybe it was just Marvel. I can't remember what it was called, Marvel Heroes, something like that. This guy is from... Marvel Universe. He is more closely to the size of these ones, but he's still a little bit too bigger, but he's supposed to be 3.75. But as you can tell, they're not. So these figures don't really go with any of the lines uh, that I'm aware of. You know, but if you happen to know what ones they might match up to, uh, just leave a comment down below. Educate me a little bit on that. So we'll just get these guys out of the way. So yeah, they look just like their uh, retro counterparts from the comics. They look very good. Not really any articulation on them. Uh, you got, for the figures, you can move the heads. They twist around. You got the arm that can twist. Now, they do have, right here, at least for Spider-Man, around his... Uh, past his wrist, it's like halfway up his arm, you can rotate that around, can't do anything with the waist, legs can go up, and that's about as far as it'll go, but he can go all the way back with it, and if you go further down, can't do anything. Uh, the legs, only up here at the waist, that's the only spot he can move. It almost would seem like you could move right here, because they're uh, separate pieces, but they were just molded together. I like how they have, you know, the traditional Spider-Man thrip pose. And the coloring is great, it's just the classic red-blue with black outlines, with his eyes, they almost feel like they're a separate piece. It's uh, raised off of the mold. Now if you look at Electro here, same thing, classic colors, yellow and green. Now for him, he can move his head all the way. Arms all the way. He can rotate right here where it separates from the green and the yellow. Nothing on the waist, but he can also kick his legs up. And back. 
And there's nowhere else. He can't move his legs either, even though there are separate pieces that were just uh, bonded together. Yeah. But I like, uh, even though it's a really small figure, his face looks really good. The details on there, they may not seem like much, but I think it looks really good. The only thing I don't like is his eyes. Because the, the eyes are just painted on the mask, and it looks a little uh, off. Yeah, these figures are good if you just want to, well, I don't know, have smaller figures for your collection. I mean, there's no real articulation except for what I've shown you. But they look really good. I don't really see any reason why someone wouldn't want them, except for the size. Uh, kids will get a kick out of them even though these are more for adult collectors. But yeah, so that's just been my uh, little review on Marvel Legends Retro 3.75 inch Spider-Man and Electro figures. And this is from Hasbro, as a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So as always, you can leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.